Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. New to Dorico 5 is live editing, which lets you drag selected notes with the mouse to modify their pitch or rhythmic position. When dragging notes to a new rhythmic position, Dorico will indicate the region to be affected by the newly moved notes, so you can be careful about overwriting existing material. When modifying the pitch of notes, dragging with the mouse transposes the notes diatonically, snapping to notes that conform to the prevailing key signature. If you hold down the Alt or Option key while you drag notes, you'll create a copy of those notes, and this works both when moving notes to a new rhythmic position and changing the pitch of notes, and so building up chords. To protect against unwanted edits, Dorico recognizes whether you're intending to change the pitch or position of notes and restricts the action so you cannot do both at the same time. Live editing works in conjunction with Dorico's existing note input tools, for example, chord mode and insert mode. And you can even drag notes to a different staff, which of course works well when holding Alt or Option to create a copy. Do this by moving the notes horizontally at first to prevent Dorico thinking you want to modify the pitch of the notes. Finally, if you rather, you can disable live note editing with this preference. The option can be toggled with a key command of your choice, so you can enable or disable live editing on the fly. And that's live editing in Dorico 5. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.